I mean, look, everything's sort of opening. I mean, look, Texas is, you know, we're in the news again, of course, uh, uh, you know, opening everything up, getting rid of the mask, you know, but obviously there's pushback and this and that, you know, regardless of where you stand, uh, things are going to be opening up. So hopefully that's going to help uh, some theaters. I mean, look, Alamo just filed for bankruptcy. That's a famous. Um, I saw that. You know, everybody yeah. knows Alamo here in Texas. So, yep. yeah. Yeah. Sad, sad for, for, you know, the film industry in a lot of ways uh, in the music industry, you know, the music artists that I've had on here yep. uh, since COVID started. I mean, it's like, holy cow. It, it's uh, yeah, it's incredible. So hopefully, you know, that right. gets moving. And, you know, people, it's funny, you know, everyone's always talking about the death of the theater experience, let's say, you know, yeah. don't get me wrong, st streaming has been, been, been wonderful and it's an amazing thing, but I talked to all my friends back in Texas, let's say, and they, they can't wait to go to a movie theater. See yeah, me. absolutely. I talked to my friends in Canada. I talked to my friends in, in China. And like, you know, they, everyone wants to go to the movies. I think it's going to be just fine. You know, where people want to go see the movies and have that collective experience. And so, you know, we'll Maybe be there'll back. be a resurgence, like about, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And there'll be stuff on, on TV and there's going to be stuff on movies and there's going to be, you know, Broadway's yeah. going to reopen and we're going to go see yeah live shows and concerts are going to come back it's when the time's right. And so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. We'll so you said you were, uh, you were filming in Italy when the COVID hit and you got quarantined there. You know what? We were in Thailand when it hit actually. Okay. Wow. So, Jesus. So either way. Yeah. We were in Bangkok and um, yeah. So we got, when, we, when it hit and we got, we got sent back to the States. And then when we finally were able to pick back up, we went back to Italy and we're there for a couple months this past November, December. Okay. Was. How was it now, you know, compared to how yeah. they were back then? Well, you know, what's strange is if you've ever been to, you know, cities like Rome that are just packed with tourists normally, right? So it was weird yeah. to see the city that was kind of like a ghost town and a lot of, wow. you know, relative. And we, we filmed at the, or in front of the Vatican, I should say. And there's oh, always man. a huge line there, you know, yeah. it's one of the, you know, it's like the center of the universe a lot of ways. And there's just no... So, you know, it's like no line you could, so wow. it was kind of a unique time to be there, but yeah, um, that's nuts. But I'm sure for Rami, you know, like I said, in, in time, yeah, we'll, we'll come back, but man, what a, what a thrill to film in these locations and, you know. Yeah. You know. Let's, let's dive into the show, man. It's such a great show. This, you know, I kind of wanted to say, you know, it's such a great show, man. And you get to like hop around everywhere and it, it that lends itself to what the show is too. That's kind of cool to know that it's done that way. Yeah. I thought that was part of the thrill with blood and treasure, which is very much, you know, in the DNA of Indiana Jones is, you know, let's take the audience on a, on a summer adventure, you know, like summer shows, it's, it's a vacation, you know, we're actually going to go to the locations and I think yeah. you can feel it when it's not a, when it's not a green screen or you're not, you know, on the back lot in Toronto, and, you know, we're, we're in the jungle of Thailand or we're, you know, on this difference on the top of this, you know, mountain, it's, it's pretty extraordinary. And all what's the local, a, What's your favorite place you've been to? Ooh. Uh, that's think, a tough question, right? That's a tough... <laughs> yeah. So, you know, we were... most interesting, or I don't know, you know. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, mean I, I think Thailand was just so rich and colorful, and we were in Krabi, and we shot in this, this cave, you know, in this mountain, and just you're in the jungle, and I think they even caught, like, a live cobra that day, and, you know, got oh, it out shit. of the way so that, you know, no one... <laughs> Fuck it, it back, but it, it, you know it's just beautiful and the people in thailand are so incredibly full of love and you know generosity and more awesome so, so we wrap season two okay and we're uh, in editing right now and still still waiting because again covid you know pandemic sure. related, waiting for an air date yeah but um this season is uh thailand and, and italy yeah and awesome. um our our treasure is is based in this uh, Genghis Khan mythology, and we're looking for his spirit banner. Season one was was more Egyptian, you know the yeah the the, sarco the sarcophagus of Cleopatra, and so we we filmed in Morocco and Italy there. So uh, we did the season. We were in Montreal, which is an amazing city. Yeah, and, great uh, city. All over Thailand, and um, and then you know Florence, Rome, awesome. Venice, not. Not too shabby. Uh, yeah, not too not too shabby at all. Um, what yeah. what did you know a lot about history of this stuff before you 
got you know, into the show? That's funny. That's a good question because I, I would joke that my my character is the um, is the you know art you know relic historian you could say and and um, you can't really bullshit you you can't really improvise your way out of it you know if you don't. <laughs> so my character Danny is much smarter than I am but um, you know I I mean I'm a, I'm a big history fan I think you know. If you if you like storytelling, history is just filled with you know the most the greatest stories ever ever you know lived. But um, good point. Yeah, but no, I mean really, I, you know, even growing up with an artist, there's so much history with art and um, you know culture. So you no, know, I've, I've, yeah, it, it's definitely made me smarter. But what's funny is we you know at times I think in the way that like the Da Vinci Code does, you know, we'll sort of blend, you know, some sort of revisionist history you know it's like real history with you know some mythology and you know that's much better yeah that's much better right like we'll watch the history channel yeah. for some other shit yeah. and even they fucking add some shit to it you know what i mean right that's right it's like genghis khan can shoot firebolts from his ass right I mean, yeah <laughs> i think he did 